Since the outbreak of conflict between Palestinian Hamas and Israel, Sayed Hassan Nasrallah, the leader of the Hezbollah militia, made a public appearance on November 3rd for the first time in a while, delivering a speech before thousands. This long-anticipated address was closely monitored beyond Lebanon's borders as well, given that Nasrallah is a prominent figure in the informal alliance known as the Axis of Resistance, led by Iran to counter the influence of the United States and Israel. But who is Hassan Nasrallah, really? <laughs> You might have seen videos of announcements when Hezbollah was simulating assaults on Israeli bases as a form of training. Well, Hassan Nasrallah has been their leader since 1992, following the assassination of his predecessor, Abbas al-Musawi, by the Israeli Defense Forces. Under Nasrallah's leadership, Hezbollah has played a pivotal role in the group's evolution and Lebanese politics over several decades. They've become one of the most active groups in the resistance against Israel in Lebanon and the surrounding region, engaging in armed conflict, most notably during the Lebanon War in 2006. Nasrallah is known for his stark anti-Israel rhetoric. He was born on August 31, 1960 in Beirut, Lebanon, as the ninth of ten children in a Shia family. His father, Abdul Karim Nasrallah, a fruit and vegetable seller, hailed from the village of Bazurie. Although their family was not particularly religious, Hassan was drawn to theological studies. He attended Al Naja School and then a public school in Sinel Fiel, a Christian dominated area of Beirut. In 1975, the Lebanese Civil War forced his family to move back to their ancestral village in Bazouria. There, he completed his secondary education at a public school and joined the Amal Movement, a Lebanese Shia political group. He continued his studies at a Shia seminary in Baalbek, in the Bika Valley, under the teachings of Ayatollah Muhammad Bakir al-Sadr. Later, he pursued Islamic studies in Najaf, Iraq, but returned to Lebanon in 1979 following Saddam Hussein's oppression of Shias in Iraq. Back home, he studied and taught at a school owned by Amal movement leader Abbas al-Musawi. In 1980, he joined Hezbollah, and after the 1982 Israeli invasion of Lebanon, he rose through the ranks to become the leader of Hezbollah. Nasrallah maintains the belief that Islam is the solution to societal issues. They have a complex military and political structure, and eventually became a political party in 2005. It is known that they have 150,000 fighters and possess various types of rockets and missiles, especially more than 100,000 short-range missiles. Under Nasrallah's leadership, Hezbollah has become one of the most active groups in the resistance against Israel in Lebanon and the surrounding areas. Nasrallah frequently issues strong anti-Israel rhetoric. They were involved in armed conflicts with Israel, particularly during the 2006 Lebanon War. This conflict is also known as the Israel-Hezbollah War of 2006, and in Lebanon, it's referred to as the July War, which lasted for 34 days. The conflict began when Hezbollah attacked and captured two Israeli soldiers at the Lebanon-Israel border on July 12, 2006. Hezbollah intended to use the prisoners as a bargaining chip to secure the release of Lebanese Shia prisoners held by Israel. Hezbollah then solidified its control over southern Lebanon, which is predominantly inhabited by Shia Muslims, and has served as their military stronghold for years. Israel viewed this as a threat to its national security and issued an ultimatum for Hezbollah to be expelled from the area. What was Israel's response? They launched a massive aerial bombardment on Lebanon and a maritime blockade, destroying infrastructure and resulting in the deaths of over 1,000 Lebanese citizens and the displacement of around 1 million people. Hezbollah retaliated by launching thousands of rockets into northern Israel, targeting cities such as Haifa, and engaging in combat with Israeli forces at the border. This conflict led to United Nations Security Council Resolution 1701, calling for a ceasefire and the withdrawal of Israeli forces from southern Lebanon. Hassan Nasrallah played a crucial role in this conflict, with his strikes against Israel gaining support and sympathy among his followers across the Arab world. 
Despite the extensive damage in Lebanon from Israeli attacks, Hezbollah declared a moral victory in this conflict. This victory shattered the myth of the invincible Israeli army and positioned Hezbollah as the first Arab militia capable of withstanding the Israeli defense forces, halting their advance. With their leader Hassan Nasrallah, Hezbollah is considered heroic by many across the Arab world. Nevertheless, Hassan Nasrallah is not without criticism and controversy. First, the allegations of involvement in the assassination of the then Lebanese Prime Minister Rafiq Hariri in 2005, and his role and involvement in the Syrian civil war and its impact on Lebanon. In 2005, Rafiq Hariri was killed in a car bomb attack that shook Beirut. The assassination sparked massive protests, leading to the withdrawal of Syrian troops from Lebanon and significant political shifts. Hezbollah was accused of involvement in the murder, although they have denied any role. Criticism and controversy towards Hezbollah arose due to their close ties with Syria and suspicions that they might have had a political motive for the assassination. After an 11-year trial, a member of Hezbollah was convicted by a UN tribunal in 2020 for involvement in this murder case. Since 2012, Hezbollah has also been involved in the Syrian civil war, battling Islamic extremists and vowing that their group would not allow Syrian militants to take control of areas bordering Lebanon. Hezbollah has long been an ally of the Ba'ath government in Syria, led by the al-Assad family, and has opposed the Syrian opposition. Despite facing criticism and condemnation for their role in the Syrian war, they have remained steadfast. Many believe that Hezbollah's involvement has placed Lebanon at risk of prolonged conflict, including potential internal strife. Thus, for some, Hezbollah is seen as a group of freedom fighters resisting Israel, while others view them as a threat and a destabilizing influence, continuously fueling tension and debate. As a political and military organization with a strong Shia Islamic ideology, Hezbollah has won several seats in parliamentary elections, and is involved in the national political process. Now they hold representation in the Lebanese parliament and have ministers within the Lebanese government, but Hezbollah's reach isn't limited to its armed and political wings. They also provide social services and educational programs, particularly in the southern regions of Lebanon and the Bika. They manage schools and colleges, offering quality education to children and youth in their communities. They also run hospitals and health centers, providing medical services to local residents and offer social assistance to families in need, including financial aid, clothing, and food. However, some criticize these practices, arguing they strengthen Hezbollah's influence in certain areas and create dependency on the organization.